The IS group may have lost its caliphate in Syria and Iraq, but here in Afghanistan, it has never been stronger. The terror organization is in the midst of a large-scale recruitment operation as it seeks to strengthen its ranks and expand its footprint across the country. The IS group was not eliminated. It just laid low while it regrouped so it could move to other districts. Just this month, they moved to Kunal province and elsewhere in large numbers. The mere mention of Kunar province is enough to rattle both Afghan and U.S. forces. The area provided shelter for Osama bin Laden for a year after the Taliban were ousted from power, and the U.S. Army struggled to capture Taliban outposts in the rugged region. It eventually abandoned the mountains of Kunar in 2010. But these enemies of yesteryear may now become allies. Some U.S. military and intelligence officials see the Taliban as a potential partner in defeating the IS group in Afghanistan. In the meantime, Afghan forces are determined to push back. The Islamic State group has only brought destruction to Afghanistan. All the security forces, from police to army and other security sectors, have fought them with high morale in the past, and we will continue to do so. The IS group's Afghan faction counts thousands of fighters, mainly from Central Asia, but also from Arab countries, Chechnya, India, Bangladesh and China. Suicide bombings and attacks have killed hundreds of civilians in recent years.